Recently, Mighty Cause released the new Mighty Cause Manager, which is a dashboard experience for nonprofit administrators. As part of this new optimized dashboard, we've also added the donor experience to your dashboard, which helps you customize the checkout experience for your donors and ensure that your nonprofit gets the data that's most important. Today we're going to walk through the donor experience options so you can get started customizing your donor's checkout on Mighty Cause. Once you're logged in, you can choose the nonprofit you wish to manage from your user menu. You do that by hovering over your name on the navigation bar and then simply clicking on the dashboard that you wish to access. So today we're going to be using Homeward Trails as our example nonprofit. When you click on your nonprofit dashboard, you'll be dropped into your Mighty Cause Manager. By default, you'll be on the home screen and you can navigate to your donor experience tool from the dashboard on the left side of your page. Donor experience is under the donations section, so to find it, just click on the donations section and then click on donor experience. The first screen you'll see is your checkout steps. This is where you can craft the checkout process for your donors and decide what information you want to collect. This screen will tell you how long your checkout process is, and as a best practice, you'll want to keep this process as short as you can while still ensuring that you get the information you need at your nonprofit. The more steps a checkout process has, the more likely the user is to opt out of it. You also have the option in this section of previewing the checkout process in full, which we highly recommend doing. When you go through the process that your donors go through, you may realize that you've got unnecessary steps in your donation process or that it's just more cumbersome than you would like. So this will help you hone in on what the correct number of steps is for your nonprofit based on your needs. Below that, you'll have your suggested donations. These are four amounts you can suggest to donors to give in when they click the donate button. Donors can still give in custom amounts, but these are a great way to make the checkout process easier and encourage your donors to give at these levels. We also recommend tying these amounts to something specific they will help provide for your nonprofit, which are the amount descriptions, just to make them resonate with your donors and underscore the importance of their donation to your work. If you choose not to use amount descriptions, you can simply opt not to using the checkbox. And this is also how you would opt out of using custom donation suggestions. By default, your nonprofit is opted out of using any custom suggested donations or amount descriptions on Mighty Cause. And if you want to turn those on, you need to go to the donor experience page on your Mighty Cause manager. Next, you can opt to allow dedications and designations in the checkout process. These are new options on Mighty Cause that will help you better and more effectively manage your donations. Dedications allow donors to make contributions in honor or in memory of another person, and designations allow donors to choose where their donation goes at your nonprofit. So for instance, if a donor wants to make a donation to a specific program or a restricted fund, they would use designations to do that. For designations, you are in control of providing the designation option, so donors can only choose designations you specify in this tool. For instance, here you're able to donate to one of three programs. If a donor does not wish to make a designation, the donation will go to your general fund. When you've choose, chosen the options you want, make sure you click Save to ensure that these options are inserted into your checkout process. Next, you can choose what data collection questions you want to add to your checkout process. There are five options here you can choose by toggling the button to on. While there's no limit to the number of these options you can choose, we don't recommend using all five at once. And that's in the interest of keeping the donation process as simple as possible for your donors. And we recommend pairing these options down to information that your nonprofit can use in a meaningful way. On this screen is also where nonprofits on the free plan on Mighty Cause can manage their pricing structure. You can turn on the donation boost booster to give donors the option of covering fees for you 
Or you can turn on tips, which asks donors to leave a platform tip to Mighty Cause in lieu of paying platform fees. You can only use one of these options at once. So in order to turn on platform tips, you would first need to turn off your donation booster. Going back up top, we'll go to the Advanced Questions tab. This tab is only available to Premium Pro subscribers. Premium Pro plans are $249 per month and give you access to additional features on your Mighty Cause Manager, including the advanced questions in your donor experience section. You can find out more about Mighty Cause Premium by going to mightycause.com premium. Users who do not have access to Premium Pro will see this tab but be unable to access it or use, utilize the features. On this tab, Premium Pro subscribers can choose any additional questions they'd like to add into the donation process. You can choose from the list of preloaded questions here by toggling the buttons on and off. You're limited to two questions from these options and they are not required for donors to answer. So while they will see the screen, they will not be forced to answer these questions if they don't wish to. All of these questions are voluntary and designed to help your nonprofit get more information about who your donors are. You can also add custom questions for your donors. So for instance, you may want to ask them how they heard about your nonprofit or how they got the link to make the donation. You can type your custom question into the text box and then on the right hand side, you'll choose how they can answer. The first option is a text answer where they would answer their question in sentence form in the text box. You can also allow them to choose multiple options with multiple check boxes. Radio buttons to allow them to choose between several different choices. Or choosing an answer from a drop down menu. And you can also enable the other option. Once you've entered your questions, you'll want to click the Save button to make sure that this is inserted into your checkout process. Again, these questions are all voluntary, so donors will see them, but they will not be forced to answer them in order to make a donation. Finally, the third tab on your donor experience screen is your post-checkout options. When donors are done checking out and they've completed their donation, they'll be sent to a page thanking them for their donation, which is in addition to the receipt that your donors will receive emailed from Mighty Cause immediately after completing their donation. On this page, you can use a text editor just like the one on your profile and story pages to add text, video, photos, hyperlinks, and more. You can also add a button at the bottom of the page that will give donors the option of following a link of your choosing. You can preview this page to see what it looks like by clicking the preview button, which will open up your thank you page in a new tab. The donor experience section was designed to be intuitive and put all of the aspects of your donation experience in one easy to find convenient place on your Mighty Cause Manager. At Mighty Cause, we're hoping the intuitive, intuitive design and the new options we've added will help you optimize the donation experience, making supporting your work fun and easy for donors and allowing your nonprofit to collect information that matters from your supporters. If you have any questions about using the donor experience options, you can email our friendly support staff at support at mightycause.com.